a nichrome wire of radius 3 millimeters and length 18.5 centimeters is connected to a silver wire of radius 3 millimeters and 25.3 centimeters. And the temperature is 38 degrees Celsius. So let's say you hook them up to a circuit and the temperature rises to a temperature of 38 Celsius. Find the resistance of this combined wire. Find R total. Okay, so we're going to have to use this formula for each wire, right? And they're put end to end, so they're like two resistors in series. Now, we're not going to officially talk about resistors in series and parallel until to chapter 28, but we could just mention for now, this acts like two resistors in series, so you simply add the two resistors, right? Since they have the same area, because they're just fused together, since they have the same area, we can factor the A out. And then use uh, rho 1 A, uh, L1 plus rho 2 L2. OK. And 1 over pi times the radius is going to be 3 millimeters. So 3 times 10 to the minus 3 squared. So I'm going to change it to meters. And then the resistivity one. So I'm going to use the, each of this formula for each wire, right? The row 0 for silver was uh, 1.59 times 10 to the minus 8. And then I have uh, 1 plus, and then the alpha of silver, because the temperature is not 20, which is 3.8 times 10 to the minus 3. And then parentheses, 38 degrees Celsius minus, minus 20 Celsius. So this is one of my, uh, hold on, let's put uh, this symbol here. Like that. So this is the, the resistivity, 1 plus alpha, T minus T0, times its length, right? Times L1, which is uh, um, 18.5 cm, so change that to meters. 0.185. Now you add to this and you do the same thing for the nichrome. Okay? So what is that here? Um, so you go, what is the nichrome is 1.50 times 10 to the minus 6. One plus, and then its alpha is um, point four times ten to the minus three. Thirty-eight minus twenty times its length, which is uh, change it to meters again. Point two five three. Wait, did I, uh, I think I switched them. The silver one was the, this one was the silver, right? So I should use, um, 
this one is the silver, this one is the, so I, I should use here the length of the silver, 0.253, plus that, plus that, plus that, and then here I should use the length of the 0.185. And then that's it. Just simply multiply all that out, add them, and then divide by that. See what you get when you do that. 0.183.